Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Death's Gambit. Uh, last episode we were ki uh, technically killed, but immortal, you know. And captured and put in prison. Right, that's why we... Yes. Uh, which is one of those interesting things where, like... You know, immortality is such a hard thing to work around. That is a real bad matchup, I've got to say. So we can kind of, uh, we can try to go up. What level am I? What the? Oh yeah, that big mountain turtle. I'm thirty, f level thirty-four. Um. Yeah, it's a thing in Dark Souls as well of like, man, sometimes you just got to deal. You will have to just deal with somebody being immortal. How you do it is up to you, just so long as it works. Let's give this a shot, huh? Because we have both tomes. And we first tried them last time. Interesting. So he does have some real damage. Because I was really excited about this. I love boss rematches in any form. I think Kirby refers to them as boss butch mode, which is interesting. Yeah. Ooh, he can pivot. He's still kind of like twinkle tone around. It is interesting that the buff does only make it so you get, like, five minutes of, uh... Oh, damn! Only makes it so you get, like, five minutes of, uh... What is six times ten? Sorry, I shouldn't do math right now. I'm a fool. Yeah. That's on me. I'm willing to accept that. Good fight. Uh, let's take a look at this, shall we? We're getting pretty close. Yeah, I was very interested about that. I love any kind of rematch. Oh, look at that. We get the choice to try it again. That fucking immediate 180 pivot is kind of nuts. Also, I just, I do love the look of an owl. You fool. Yeah, we can just dance with him.
Let's do a top off here. That big stinger will really carry forward. I hate it when they come out backwards. Oh! Well, I got him down to the wire there. It is really cool that I get the choice to redo it every time. There is a term thrown around during wars. I believe it's called uh, strategizing. Would you like to talk to the ghost of a general? Perhaps it will do you some good. Interesting. Sure? Use your abilities. <laughs> Profound okay. words of wisdom. Very funny death. Hardy har har. <laughs> That's not bad. The fact that he has a little hand puppet ready. That's pretty funny. Don't be a scrub. Oh, and this is with another 10% damage. I was hoping to get to be use my ability there, but it's fine that I don't, I guess. Alright, I'm botching. I'm do I keep doing it too early, and so I'm like right dead in front of him whenever he uh Yeah, he switches the direction that the attack is shooting because I'm behind him when he starts it up. Ooh, that's big damage. I like that he does little twinkle toes to walk up. That's cute. He's catching me on that big ass pivot again. That's my last sip. The pivot, man. Come over here, will you? Yeah, there's not much I can do about that. This is an exciting fight, at least. If I can't do it with this... Yeah. That's okay. I will go get more um, stuff. I also did actually want to go back to the... Uh, I wanted to go back to the first boss I fought, I think. Where's my horse? This is ridiculous. I love that horse. I do... There's this thing I really want to see in a... Like fantasy setting. 
I want to see a big unicorn. Almost always unicorns. This is, this is a weird piece of unicorn lore, if you didn't know. Uh, but actual unicorns are not horses with horns. I don't know if that makes sense, but the actual unicorn is this weird hybrid of like 10 different animals. This is real lore, by the way. I'm not making this up. Somebody else made it up. Um, but like, that's why unicorns look so weird in some art. Because they're not actually horses with horns. They're a different animal. This is the start. So I think I have to go up from here. Hello. Man, remember waiting on these like horses? Oh, I missed that. Or to respond, it is just a generic item. But yeah, if you ever seen the last unicorn, and if you if you're not sure if you've seen the last unicorn, you haven't seen the last unicorn. It's one of those movies where you're like, oh, cool, and then you'll think about it every day until you die. I've been spared once before, and it was not out of kindness. I'd sooner perish than let that happen to me again. Now we're both doing that like spear stuff. Straight through, huh? That's interesting. You won't be able to stop endless like that. All right, I wanted to give it a shot. Yeah. You know, I'm level 30 now, so I thought maybe I could do it, but I also do want to go through these areas again. Um, just because I have, uh, more abilities now. The hell was I talking about? In general, but specifically this time. Ah. Uh. I do like recording casual LPs like this. This is something that the Soul series and its imitators are really good at. Of just being very nice and casual despite all the swords and violence and stuff. Talking about the last unicorn, right? The last unicorn is just one of those movies where like, if you see it, you'll think about it like forever. You will like always remember that you've seen this movie. Because it's just really good. But one thing about the last unicorn is that the reason that Amalthea's design is so, like, weird is that... The unicorn is actually a hybridization of a bunch of animals. So it has, like, the face of a horse, but it actually has, like, the l feet of a goat, I want to say. And that's why, you know, its legs look like that. And a few other things like that, you know? The general sort of... I see something up there. Something I think I want. Hmm. Really, guys? So, yeah. It's one of those weird things about fantasy where it's like... You guys know a unicorn isn't a horse, right? Not because of the horn thing, but because of a bunch of other reasons. Um, 
I don't want to rest just because it'll be quicker to just like crow feather back. I love that I can say that sentence, by the way. That's great. I love crow feathering places. That's awesome. Hold on now. Okay, I thought that said read. Huh. So yeah, then there's this up here. Oh, doable. Ione. Remnant of disastrous expedition, Ione has been serving Endless for the past four years. Whether to prove something to Endless or to herself, she walks a tightrope while still being immoral. Every sundown, she takes a reprieve down to the depths below sanctuary. In the abode of the Dark Knight, she finds solace in keeping him company. Perhaps he stirs memories of a different time for her. Who is the Dark Knight, then? Gaian Leaf. Leaf of Gaia. Maybe I should go grind those frogs until I can get, like, a weapon I like. Maybe that'd be smart. I kind of want to try Yoni again. It does appear to be mostly the same fight, but for that one shakeup. So I may honestly just do it off camera. Same deal with the Owl King. Because then I can just grind it out. Sky Tomb. Have we been in here before? Right, we came here after Phoenix Rider. That's right. I remember now. But yeah, I've always wanted to see like a, uh, like, you know, like a draft horse. Like one of the big, like, cart pulling horses. Like a, uh, like a Clydesdale. I want to see the unicorn equivalent of that. Going off the idea that, um, you know, a unicorn is meant to be a horse with a horn, you know, and not what it actually is. But if that was the idea, I think it'd be cool to see a wider diversity of horses. 80. See, so yeah, we'll come back for you. Uh, I think it'd be cool to see a wider diversity of horses. Also, the idea of like, oh, a unicorn, something like historically and mythologically associated with like femininity and weakness and virginity and stuff like that. I think it'd be cool to be like, here's this fucking unicorn and it's like jacked. I think that'd be great. Gigantic. It's like huge. It's thick with muscle. Plus, then you get, like, the added magical bonus. Of oh, I see a tome in there. But it looks like we need the, uh, stomping. So, we'll come back. I just want to pound my head over there. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think it'd be cool to, like, get the bonus of having the big strength of a unicorn. Because unicorns are allegedly already, like, strong. I'm going to rest here. Um, and the big strength of a Clydesdale. I think that'd be an awesome idea. I'm really fond of Lord Monochromicon. Kron, if you may remember him. He was an uh, Adventure Time character from the alternate universe where everyone's gender-bent. I've been spared once before, and it was not out of kindness. I'd sooner perish than let that happen to me again. I will grant you a swift death. I love that this fight's really fast with my new abilities. Because now both of us can just 
jet around here. My God. The sweet spotting is really not helping me here. But yeah, the normal non-gender bent version of the unicorn character is like, you know, a traditional... That's funny. P uh, it's a traditional like, um, you know, fairy colored pink unicorny fella. And I love the idea of like a black, like goth unicorn. Especially when that's like one of the only things that's different. Because everyone else uh, still has the same counterpart. Uh, like the male version of Princess Bubblegum is like not goth to match. The male version of Marceline is still goth to match. You know, they're non-gender bent counterparts and everything. Could try the Owl King again, but let's make some real progress here. Another crack in the floor. Oh, pardon me. I've got hiccups from that coffee I drank. Hmm. So the HLTB... HLTB. Yeah. I don't know why I bothered to acronym it out when I had to make sure that I had it right. And also that the acronym is something I feel like I should explain. And I do. Really, this was a disaster, the sentence. The website How Long to Beat lists this game at being 11 hours, I think. The other LP that is currently running right now, Kingdom of Loathing, should take between 7 and 13 hours. I'm not going to do everything in that game. Um, let's remember where this is. This drops me back down into that big path. Yeah. We could try going up through Scorching Corridor again. Uh, yeah, the two LPs, this one is projected to be 11 hours, and if I do 30-minute episodes, then that'll be 24. Then that'll be 22 episodes, rather. Um... This is six now, I think. Yeah, I don't think I was able to get up here before without the double jump. Yes. I really don't want to heal because of how dangerous he is, but... I love having big angel wings with which to flap with. I wish I could do that in real life. I would do so many things to get a double jump. There are a few things that are more freeing than a double jump, you know? 
Like, I would willingly sell out so many for a double jump. That That is, like, one of the ultimates. In terms of, like, video game powers... You are eating up my time here, dude. God, jeez, oh, Pete. And I still have a bad mismatch of abilities here, so I can't really use them. Let's have a spear fight, then. word yeah three fire bombs what an amazing loot Got suckered right there. All right. Got one plume left. Fineness, you've got Nymeria. Bumbling oaf. Ugh, silence, Pop. <laughs> there, standing around. We've run afoul of these wolves. Mm -hmm. Shudder to think what might become of me. You mean us? No. Mind releasing me from this cage? Thank the gods. The more I listen to her yap, the more I welcome death. That can still be arranged. Good night. You guys, come on. Amarog key. Okay, so they have the same key at least. Hmm. And that blocks me off though. Great, thank goodness I came up here. Well, I did discover something at least. Uh, pardon my voice, I've uh, drank coffee as you may have seen in the earlier episodes. So I'm a little uh, rough. I drink a very harsh coffee and make a harsh coffee. Anyway, so this is projected to be like 24 episode, 22 episodes, really. But because it is a LP, and I have things like inattentive blindness working against me, and re redos. That's my last sip. Uh, yeah, inattentive blindness and redos. I may instead wish to, you know, say that it's like 24 instead. I don't know that it will be, but it might be. Just didn't do the input there. Okay. I really love the dash. I had a joke. I don't remember if I said it. This is pathetic, but I was going to say, do you guys know what a bailet is in regards to, like, me willing to do anything for a, uh, for a double jump? Great, a golden carrot. Is that what I came up here for? Well, it looked like that was everything, at least. That's alright. Yeah, this episode was mostly backtracking. 
And like not even like a meaningful backtrack, just is there something for me? We'll see. But that's fine. Sometimes you got to do those. So I still don't have a confirm on Origa or Origa. That is to say the pronunciation of her name is something I don't have a confirm for. But I also don't have the ability to ensure that I can do my uh, bonus damage to her. Hmm. And she's blocking me off from this and this. Care Siorai. That's cool. Hey, the map completion is listed at 25%. Then we have one of these locked doors here. And here, so we can't get down there. Maybe we could do this. Maybe. And get into Darkness Falls, but I don't really think so. It could be that we just should be going through uh, the main the main quest right now. Um, but yeah, I can take some swings on bosses or do some grinding if I need. I don't want to just grind my way through everything here, but uh, that should be that should be good for the episode. Uh, I hope you guys had a good time. I know I did, but I'll see you next time. Everyone have a good day. I've been Alfred. Bye.